Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some Star Wars action figure action here on YouTube. And yes, we have some vintage Star Wars along with a Star Wars Mission Fleet Inquisitor in the box. And we got some Star Wars Episode One figures. We got a Star Wars Kenner ATST, an awesome looking array of figures, if I do say so myself. They look amazing. And yeah, I will be picking up more Star Wars figures from my collection as well whenever I find them for good prices and cheap, but I have not done episode one, Naboo Soldiers, here on YouTube. But now it's been a minute, we're going to look at each figure. They don't have much articulation with these ones. They got a gun, their head moves, so we're going to look at the episode one figures, the Naboo guards. He's got this rapid fire gun, go pew 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 pew, rapid fire, and he can kick that far. His legs can go back that far. But other than that, no knee bends, no elbow bends, but we're going to get close up of that head. And it looks pretty cool. This one of the Naboo security soldiers. Love that guy. He is my first one I've ever owned of these guys. Next, we got the original Naboo soldier, and this guy is the, the N1 not the N1, but the, uh... I forget the name of the starship that was silver in Star Wars Episode One, but this guy flew it. But it's so cool that I have this guy, and now I want to collect more Star Wars Episode One Naboo soldiers, because these figures are fun. Articulation, not much. No knee bends or anything. Head does move slightly, but it's really tight. Does have a turn at the waist, but other than that, that's all there is to say for this guy. We're getting through all the old school figures, let's look at the ATST. Now this is a vintage Star Wars 1980s Kenner ATST, so it still works after all these years. You press this button, you might be a little tight on my copy. You press the button and it moves, but I think the button's broken on mine, which is a real shame. Otherwise, the canopy head rotates. I'm missing this piece right here. If I ever find it, I will complete this. But you can see the pilot inside the cockpit. It's got the turrets on the side. And you go pew, pew, bang, bang with the heavy-duty firepower. And that looks so amazing. For a 80s ATST, this is so amazing. He does have some paint wear, but other than that, it looks very good after all these years. And now we're going to look at our Star Wars Mission Fleet Inquisitor. I haven't even opened this up yet. I'm going to have to get this open. If I can get it open, we're going to show you off what's in the box. Ugh. It's a tough thing, isn't it? I'll be back with my trusty pair of scissors. So we can cut this baby open. It's going to take me a few seconds. Because when I get so excited about reviewing something, some days I forget about opening it freely. And it's got the probe droid that actually shocks you and knocks you out. So now we got the scissors. Let's cut this baby open, shall we? But first, let's look at the artwork on the box. You got other figures in the line, which I don't have. Which is pretty cool. Nice artwork of the Grand Inquisitor. Back of the box. You got his double-edged lightsaber. I love that. Grand Inquisitor's probe droid stand and all that. Made by Disney and Hasbro. But now we're going to cut this baby open. Come on. Come on, baby. Work for me here. I have a little bit of scissors trouble. <laughs> Whew, talk about stubborn, stubborn huh? huh? Let's see if I can get this puppy to open. Almost got it. Almost got it. 
And we got it open. Yes. Now we're going to pull out from the packaging. And now we're done with the packaging. Got the Grand Inquisitor and his probe droid and his lightsaber here. First, we're going to pull off this poly bag, which holds accessories. Nothing wrong with accessories. Ooh, we got his cape here. What else we got in here? The probe droid stand. Nice. Anything else? I guess that's all there is to say for that. I'm going to have to flick on the flashlight so you can see what I'm going through here. Come on, flashlight. Turn on. Got his cape. And we got his probe droid, which is nice. And we got his lightsaber right there, if I can get it out. I'm going to have to tear this cardboard just to get it loose. And it looks like on my copy it is missing the lightsaber piece, unless it fell. And it did fall. Here we go. The lightsaber piece without the lightsabers. But to assemble this figure is very easy. We're going to look like we're going to attach his cape to the back of his neck somehow from the peg. Come on, peg it in. Peg it in. And there we go. We got him with his cape. And man, does he look awesome. Articulation. He can kick back that far. I mean forward that far. No backwards because of the cape. Unless I take the cape off and then you can he can kick backwards slightly. Or I can bend the cape and it, you can see he can kick back that far. Head is on a ball joint. Love that. And now for the storage of his lightsaber hilt can go on his back like so. And man, that's cool. And you can even have him, have him wield in the bladed lightsaber in hand if I can get him to hold it. Come on, Grand Inquisitor. Wield your lightsaber of Jedi destruction. I said that because it's fun. Oh, yeah. And it spins, and that's just so cool. It's supposed to spin, but... They skipped the detail with that. Real shame. But now he's got his lightsaber. He's ready to do combat against some Jedi. And now for his probe droid. The legs do not move. The head does not move. Not at all. But he does have a port in the bottom right there. And you plug the stand in. And his probe can absolutely fly. Oh man, that's cool. But he's got a gun right there, so go pew, pew, pew. And take out some Jedi with that. Do I highly recommend this to any Star Wars fans? Yes. Star Wars Mission Fleet is a fun line, and I'm so glad I picked these up. One of these up, and I'm going to have to pick up more of it. But other than that, it's a fun line for any toy collector to buy, and I enjoy the Star Wars Mission Fleet figures. They're small, they're in Galactic Heroes, small status, and they're a whole lot of fun. And before I move on and rock on and rock out, if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.